Ah, behold the glory. That is the sinusoidal waveform. Ah, I've been watching too much Ashens. Hey, what's up, guys? Today we are going to make a simple peak detector circuit. And for that, we're going to use this uh, sine wave, which is at about 980 hertz. And let me show you how simple it is to make a peak detector. I think you'll enjoy this. Hang on, we're swinging down. All right, so to make our peak detector, the first thing we need is our input. And that's our sine wave coming in. The next thing we need is a diode. And then this will be our output. So if we have a diode following that sinusoidal waveform, what will end up happening is we will get a similar waveform but only at the diode drop so it will look something like this <sighs> neighbor slamming the door anyway you know that a diode typically needs between 0.6 to 0.7 volts to activate so let's add a little something but first let's take a look at that i'm going to hook up the probe and swing up and you can enjoy the choo-choo train that's coming by my window okay, channel one is our sine wave and channel two is our wave after the diode We're looking at uh, two volts per division. So you can see we're at about half, a little over half a division there. So that is about a half a voltage drop. Now, to truly make our peak detector, and what's already on here but I haven't showed you yet, is simply a resistor that goes to ground but we are not really detecting any peaks we are simply following the sine wave so what we've done is we've created a sine wave follower that follows the sine wave in phase but 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 volts lower all right now i want you guys to see if you can figure it out while i do this i'm going to add one more component here to complete, well, I don't know if someone says it's going to complete it, but it'll be another function of our peak generator. Can you tell what that is? What's that blue waveform look like? Any guesses? Well, if you guessed that it was a capacitor, you're absolutely right. So there's our circuit. And don't worry, we're not done yet. I said we were making a peak detector. Now there's not much we can do for that diode drop here. We're kind of stuck with it. But we can change this discharge curve by changing the value of the capacitor. Ready, zip, no capacitor in the circuit. Let's add, like I said, a bit of a larger capacitor to the circuit. Now, I know it clipped off the top there. There's not much I can do about that. But we now have a DC waveform that is our peak detector. 
pretty cool. I'll show you the circuit here. Let's swing on down here. Okay. So here is the input from the function generator. Let me swing over here a little bit better just so you can see the whole thing. All right. The blue is the input from the function generator. The white is the output to channel one on the oscilloscope. There is our diode. And then we have a capacitor and a resistor both going to ground in parallel. And really, that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to work out these values yourself, the RC time constant is equal to the product of the resistance times the capacitance. And that is in ohms and farads. So watch your decimal points. There are other ways to make a peak detector. This is just the simplest one. If you have an audio circuit or something where you want to make a, uh, you know, something to visualize your peaks, this is a quite simple way to do it. And again, I just want to emphasize that this clipping is simply due to my function generator and not the circuit itself. So that being said, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Now go on, get.